Hello, and welcome to Veg My Ride, the first in a series of DIY instructional videos to help promote the use of sustainable fuels and reduce our dependence on finite hydrocarbon fuels. I'm Rob Del Bueno, and I'll be walking you through the steps that it takes to convert a car to run on vegetable oil. Now, running a car on vegetable oil is actually nothing new. In fact, the technology dates back to the early 1900s, when German inventor Rudolf Diesel came up with what's now known as the diesel engine. This engine utilizes high compression and allows it to burn non-volatile fuels like vegetable oils. Now, although early diesel engines could run directly on vegetable oil, contemporary diesel engines can't. The problem has to do with viscosity. Vegetable oil, as it stands right now, is way too thick for modern diesel engines to utilize. So what we have to do is we have to reduce the viscosity of the fuel. Now, there are a number of different ways that can be done. One is chemically, by converting the vegetable oil into biodiesel. That'll be covered in another video. Or we can also reduce the viscosity thermally by heating it up. Now, it turns out that every internal combustion engine produces a lot of excess heat and we can utilize that heat to actually thin the vegetable oil. So how the system works is we basically take the excess heat from the coolant system, the hot water, and we use that to preheat the vegetable oil in the tank, in the fuel lines, and in the fuel filter in order to bring the fuel to the viscosity that allows it to be used by the engine. We're going to do that by installing a completely parallel fuel system, a whole new tank for the vegetable oil that's heated, a whole new set of fuel lines that are heated also, a new fuel filter specifically for the vegetable oil, and the associated valves and electronic components that allow you to switch from one fuel to the other. The way the system actually works is you first start the vehicle on diesel fuel. That allows the engine to warm up and heat up the coolant system. Once the coolant system has gotten warm, you can now use that warm water to heat the vegetable oil. Once everything's up to temperature, you flick a switch on the dashboard and now you're running on vegetable oil.